about the a soup kitchen that's put together by uh, three retired women who are passionate about clearing the streets or ridding the streets of uh, street children, giving them warm, nutritious meals once a week and making sure that they are networked properly to cause a change and shift the paradigm. I've been joined this morning by Ajoa Mana and also Elizabeth Kwashi Aiden and Nancy Thompson. I like to call them aunties. Aunties, welcome. Good morning. How are we doing? Thank you. <laughs> good, good, morning, good to, Congratulations, by the way, for this initiative. Whose idea was it? I'm curious to learn. All three of us. All three of you. Yes. How, how did you come together to decide that you want to uh, cause this change? We feel that there's a need to do something to get these kids mm. off the streets. Anytime you stop your car mm. somewhere, they're coming to you and right. this is our future. They mm. are our future. We have to make sure that something happens. I see. Uh, that they should be changed. Mm. So we got together to look into how best we could, we could support them. Okay. Mm. But Lizzie, mm -hmm. yes, madam. We are very fond of being armchair critics. Mm. We sit back and complain. Why is this not being done? Why mm -hmm. is that not mm -hmm. being done? Mm -hmm. But it takes people to bring about a change. Right. And each one of us is capable of contributing, mm. making an impact in the society. Mm. It's, even if physically you can't do it, mm. your money can do it. Mm -hmm. I so see. that's how we got together. What, one would say, look, you're on pension. You're supposed to be at home with your grandchildren <laughs> and enjoying the rest of your life peacefully and gracefully. Why would you want to put yourself through this stress, Auntie Lizzie? Well, because they're also our grandchildren mm. in a way, mm. you know. We are children of parents of Ghanaians. Okay. We're all Ghanaians. Mm. We've got to contribute something to society right. because these kids come from deprived societies, mm. you know, broken homes, some are orphans. Okay, so I mean, whatever we can do for our own grandchildren, we should be able to do for them mm. because if not, armed robbers are taking over, mm. they're using them, mm. you know, so we are breeding over, well, according to statistics, statistics mm. we have over 450,000 street kids in Ghana wow. and over 100,000 in Accra. Mm -hmm. So if you, don't, if you don't do anything to help them, mm -hmm. they're going to turn against society, mm. you know, and then they'll attack us in your cars, in your beautiful homes. Mm. You know, these are kids ranging from 10 years to about 19, 20, mm. and most of them on hard drugs. Wow. Yeah. Auntie Ajua, how long have we done this, the AA Soup Kitchen? Well, this week will be our fourth. Fourth edition. Fourth one, yes. Wow. Uh, we meet at Air Force of the Land Park. Mm -hmm. Every Wednesday morning, okay, um, till about two o'clock or okay. so. Okay, and we've been very fortunate mm. to collaborate with the Ministry of Gender, okay, um, and um, social affairs, children and uh, social protection. Children and social pr mm. protection. They've been very supportive. Their social workers, the staff, mm. go around and gather the children. Okay and congregate them at uh, Air Force okay. Land Park. Right. park. Right. Um, they also gave us the park for free mm. to use weekly to okay. do this okay. because they see the need as well mm. uh, that we are contributing to their vision okay. of uh, wanting to see every Ghanaian child mm. productive, uh, not hungry, okay. and contributing to society. Right. Mm. And, and Nancy, it's not just about the food. It's about networking, it's about trying to get them uh, skills development, mm -hmm. those who want to go back to school mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Question is about funding and how you're able to uh, move to that next step. What's yeah, the plan? That is our biggest hurdle. But we trust that there are many people in society mm -hmm. who want to help one way or the other, just as we are helping, mm -hmm. but have not been approached yet. Okay. And so we are knocking on doors mm -hmm for people to respond. Okay. And we hope that their response will be very encouraging. This is a big door, knock on it harder. <laughs> <laughs> knock on it, they, 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 they are watching. All those who need to come to your aid are watching. So yes. knock on the door harder, Auntie Nancy. Okay. We will. Mm. <laughs> we knock, will. knock on it, they're, they're listening. So we, I, I'd like you to make the appeal now. Yeah, yes. okay. Um, feeding a growing child, and especially a child on drugs, mm. it's not easy. Mm. They, they need real meals mm. and um, heavy ones that will take them 
at the moment it's once a week okay. but we hope it will be more right. as time goes on as our resources um, do mm. better mm. and not only that but um, we also want to link them to other institutions right. and it all takes money even okay. the resource people we are not at the moment we are depending on their magnanimity mm. to help but i don't know for how long we're mm. going to enjoy this okay. largest from them right um and so we are asking mm. we are appealing to the general public mm. come to our aid mm. these are children <coughs> sorry about sorry that. Mm who are just like our own children. Mm. They are the future of this country. And so if we neglect them now, we will live to regret it. Right. Most of us are living in, if not all, living in burglar-proof houses. Mm. Why are we living in burglar-proof houses? Okay, <laughs> we're, we're going to wrap up now. I'm yeah. told that uh, we've overstayed our welcome. But mm -hmm. Auntie uh, uh, Lizzie, I just, quickly, I just want closing to, thoughts. Uh, uh, knock on a harder door. That's mm. pharmaceutical companies. Right. We have med we have a medical team who come and do the screening of okay. the kids for okay. free. Okay. But we need the drugs to support it. Right. So we are pledging or we are asking the pharmaceutical okay. companies mm. to donate generously to, donate. to oh, our cause. Thank course. you very much. I also uh, want, to, want uh, to appeal to the general public okay not just to give but in a sustainable way okay so if you can pledge mm. uh, every month okay whatever is nothing is small enough right uh, so we we are very much interested in that as well. i think thank, thank you very much the three wise women uh, aunties for life and they are taking care of uh, their grandchildren and their nephews and nieces out there and you should join them tomorrow at the Air Force Adelant, uh, Children's Park. It's at Ridge. It's starting in the morning till about 2 p.m. Uh, thanks to Maximat. I'm told they have been supportive in this uh, enterprise. And everybody else who's been very supportive trying to make sure that uh, we don't have the youngsters on drugs, roaming the streets and become a danger to society, but making them productive and rechanneling their energies to make them uh, workable and forceful for society. Thank you to Auntie Ajwa Amana, to Auntie Elizabeth uh, Kwashi Aiden, and to Auntie Nancy Thompson. Ladies, grateful for your time and God bless you for all your work. You.